Hello and welcome back to my channel. In my videos you could seen as I used a nickel plating. These two stuffs were nickel plated with different technologies. The saw is nickel plated with electrolyte technology. And the iron with chemical one. In this video, I am testing which method is better for hobby use. Chemical or electrolyte. The electrolyte solution contains nickel sulfate, nickel chloride and boric acid. The chemical solution contains nickel sulfate and lactic acid. So let's see what we need for this two methods. For electrolyte plating, we need the plating liquid, a power supply where you can set the level of electric current and piece of nickel which I forgot to put into scene. For the chemical process, you will need a chemical plating liquid. For both of methods, you will need strong degreaser. I use this one which contains phosphoric acid and oxo alcohol ethoxylate. Destilled water, and source of heat. I have prepared two metal pieces for testing. I sanded them with sandpapers from 40 to 400 grit. I polished them, but only from one side. The piece marked with number one is for electroplating, the number two for chemical plating. Front sides are polished. Back sides are sanded up to 400 grit. I have also made thin metal sheets with same properties to see if the thickness of material can affect plating. I will try to bend them. Just a rough cleaning with acetone to remove polishing compound residues. weighing pieces for checking how many nickel were added.
Let's start with plating. First, I dip the material to the degreaser. Then wash it in two baths of distilled water. I start with electroplating. This plating bath works with temperature over 55 Celsius degree. It is dipped in degreaser for about one minute. Now cleaning in distilled water. Negative pole goes to material sentence to plating. Positive pole goes to piece of nickel. I keep electric current about 0.6 amps. All pieces I have been nickel plating for 15 minutes. In case of electroplating, I have turned material to opposite side in half of time limit. It is because to be both sides faced onto the nickel piece. Now the sheet metal piece. Degreasing. Water bath. Plus to the nickel plate, minus to nickel plated piece. Ampers set to 0.6 and 15 minutes of nickel plating. Electric plating is over. Now let's test chemical nickel plating bath. This liquid works with temperature over 85 Celsius degrees. I kept the same way of degreasing, degreasing bath for about one minute, and two baths of distilled water. Fifteen minutes starts right now.
The last piece, degreaser, water. Let's nickel plate. And here is the result. Electroplated metal piece. Does not look good. There are some dark stains. It looks like a nickel is peeled off. The same problem is with sheet metal. Edges are very bad. These pieces were nickel plated chemically. The result is much better. It looks very well plated. Except these stains on surface. The sheet metal looks nice too. So how many of nickel were added? Electroplated metal piece has grown up by 0.12 grams. Chemical plated piece grew up by 0.05 gram of nickel. Electroplated sheet metal increased about 0.18 gram. And chemically plated one grew up by 0.11 gram. Now I am going to test the durability. I will use a puncher, a file, and an 80 grit sandpaper. First electroplated metal piece. Nickel layer is very easily peeled down. This is so bad. And what about chemically plated piece?
No scales through scratching. Looks good. I like this result of nickel plating. I am going to bend the electroplated sheet metal. I am not sure that this is common. If you know what is wrong, please leave a comment. The last piece, chemically plated sheet metal. Time to bend it. No peeling or tattering. This is really good. So this was my backyard test of nickel plating methods. For me, Chemical Way is the winner. Thank you for watching. If you like it, please like, share, subscribe or leave a comment.